Hi, Bob at Prycom. In this series, we're going to introduce the LCS2 lighting control system. We're going to start with the basic inputs and outputs, such as DMX512 and ArtNet. Then we're going to go to the fixtures. We're going to add some fixtures to our system. We're going to create some fixtures that don't exist. And then we're going to put those fixtures into some presets. Once we have some presets, we're going to put those into queues. And then using either manual or automatic operation, we will exercise those cues using runners. So let's go ahead and dig in. Let's start with a quick walkthrough of the front of the LCS2. First, along the top is 32 moving faders. Those 32 moving faders allow us to edit any fixture that exists in a preset. The preset fixture number and intensity is displayed on the LCD above the fader. And the buttons below the faders allow us to select a fixture and then edit the parameters within that fixture. To the left is the Q stack. This is a set of runners that allow us to load in any set of cues into any one of these runners and then use a push button to uh, advance it. In the center is, a, is our touchscreen. Touchscreen has many menu options across the top and then also allows us to view things, save things, open things, configure things. Um, all that type of thing. Keypad along the bottom section in the center. Keypad allows us direct access to presets, for example. So I can hit preset, I can go to the stack list, I can go to the queue list, I can go to the fixture list without having to touch the actual screen itself. And then I can also direct enter a fixture number or a preset number uh, and get to it quickly. To the right is our manual T-bar. The LCD displays the cues that are being run on the T-bar. As I pull through the cues, you'll see the bar slides to indicate my fade. I can do a split fade where I'm doing a lead and a lag so the next cue comes in before the previous cue goes out, that type of a thing. We also have two uh, overhead cue lights, which have adjustable intensity, and a USB jack for putting in a removable storage device, keyboard, or other such things. The back panel includes the following connections. Power input module with a fuse, power on-off switch, a temperature-controlled variable speed cooling fan, an Ethernet interface for ArtNet. There are eight universes of output from the LCS2. Four internal DMX512 outputs, labeled A, B, C, and D. MIDI in and out for MIDI timecode. SMPTE in and out for SMPTE timecode. These are transformer balanced, so they're completely isolated. There's also an audio output stereo audio output that is balanced, used for sound effects or other things that you want to play back. And finally, a PNET interface. The PNET is used for external GPIO or other relay controlled devices. 